Hi guys, welcome to Rasty Audio in the second video of the day. This time I'm going to talk about the Vintage Speaker Warehouse. Uh, a group that I uh, created yesterday and a group that is based on a service that my company will be providing for the future. Um, you might ask, well, what is this Vintage Speaker Warehouse? Well, it is exactly what it is, what it says it is. It is a place where you can buy vintage audio or even modern audio if you want to, but speakers. Um, it is a service that I provide where we supply uh, drivers, even complete speakers, um, based on what people want, needs, and whatever. Um, we will be supplying drivers for almost every brand, uh, except for the cheap rack speakers that came out in the 80s and 90s and still comes out today. Um, we will be focusing on solid brands that is valuable enough to be restored, repaired, or whatever you want to do to them. We cover uh, drivers, speakers, speaker accessories, uh, crossover, crossover components, uh, so we cover a broad area and we our, our main focus is from about let's say 2003 and back um, and then we're talking about speakers such as JBL, Le uh, Altec, uh, Jensen, Wharfdale, Electro Voice, Tanoi, PSB, Paragon, uh, Energy, Klipsch, Surin Vega, uh, Snell, Boston Acoustic, and all the other premier brands. We don't do like Sanio and and Fisher by Sanio. Um, we might do some Pioneer. Uh, certain models of the Japanese we might do. We might do some Coral. Um, so we, we, we will be doing a lot of things. Now what is involved in this speaker winter speaker warehouse well like I told you we can supply speakers complete speakers we can supply drivers like such as tweeters mid-range and woofers and subwoofers uh, we can help with information about speakers if, if that's what you're needing we can help with directing you to the proper channels if you need something repaired we are working closely together with a few companies so if you need foam kits, recon kits, or something else, diaphragms, you can come to us and we will tell you which one is the right place to go to get the correct help for your speaker and your needs. We also offer a brokerage system and, and service, which means if you live somewhere else than in the United States, and let's say you see something for sale on, online and that seller is located in the United States but do not offer shipping to Europe, Australia, um, Russia, wherever you live, we will help you. We, we might be able to help you depending on where you live. There are certain exceptions. Um, why are we doing this? Well, because we all have that are interested in sound and that are in the groups that I am in uh, have a passion for vintage audio and no bashing of brands or anything we will cover all brands if you are a Bose owner we will help you the best way we can if you are a JBL owner or Altec owner or Actual Voice owner Sir and Vega owner we will help you in the same way we don't uh, discriminate on any brands like that uh, but it goes there's a line that goes where cheaper brands, rack brands, we don't want to waste our time on that. Um, so why are we doing this? Well, it is to help the people out there who has a, a solid, healthy interest in this hobby, who run into a snag or a problem every now and then, because that happens. Most of the time, it is such a, just an easy thing as maybe a, a refund job, and that's easy enough. Maybe sometimes you have to do a recap on a crossover, uh, but sometimes you, it becomes more uh, complicated and you have to do a recon job, but that is easy to fix too. 
But then you have those certain models where you can't get recon kits or reform kits for them and you are desperately needing a new driver. And that's where we come in if you can't find it yourself or if you don't trust people online because that's another part of this thing that why we're doing this then we might be able to help you out because not all drivers are very easy to find and the older the driver becomes the harder it is to find but we have some contacts and we have a, a systems put down that we 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 look through everything every day. We spend hours every day scouring the market for parts, drivers, and everything. So, trusting sellers, that's a very, very big, important thing. And uh, here is one of the biggest meat on the bone thing why we do this. Um, I have been a seller online for almost 20 years. I've been a seller on eBay for almost 12. I've been a buyer online for just the same amount of time. Uh, I buy and sell on eBay. And I have to say that the times I have bought things on eBay, um, many times I have been really disappointed. One, because the product is not as described. It's not working as it should. And it was described as very good or min almost mint. And when I get it, it is no, not even close. Then you have the second part is where seller claim that it is professionally refurbished or repaired or reconed re refund or all that stuff and when you when i got the unit the unit or the item um it turned out that yes it was refund yes it was reconed but it was ro done wrong so there was issues with the product it couldn't be used it had to be redone so i had to do the job all over again which cost me more money in recon kits or refund kits and I paid a premium because to the guy because he had already done it. I could have bought a woofer or a subwoofer that was not refurbished and got it for a cheaper price and done it myself. So that is kind of ag aggravating. And then you have shipping and shipping damages. That happens in many cases because a lot of sellers on eBay clearly have no clue how to pack vintage audio equipment and speakers. That is one common thing that goes again and again and it comes up every time. I can't count how many times I have received an amplifier, or a receiver or a speaker and there is damages, extensive damages beyond repair. And yes, you get your money back from eBay and PayPal if you have that paid with that. But it, it is a process. It takes time and it's a hassle. It shouldn't be that way. And that's where we come in, because we have a, a three-step program, which we call acquiring, verifying, and certifying. And when we do those things in a one process, at the end, it comes to you as the buyer, it comes to you as a benefit, it comes to you as um, a safe and secure and a peace of mind that when you buy something from us, you can bet that we pack it correctly. I have sold so many speakers and so many vintage audios, even small vacuum tubes on eBay for years. Turntables, amplifiers, receivers, records. And if you go and look at my feedback, 100% feedback, top notch, top rated seller. And if you, look, if you read through the feedback that I have received, if you look at what most of them says, Fast delivery, extremely good packing. And um, so when you buy something from us, you know that it will arrive damaged free. Also, when you buy something from us, you, you will know because every item comes with a verified certified sheet of paper signed by us, signed by me, that I have gone through every little thing on the speaker uh, the driver, uh, we have checked it, we have tested it, and we will make a report. So every product comes with a report, it comes certified as working, and it comes with a grade. We grade the products. Even, even drivers like this, we grade. Because when you buy a vintage driver like this, even though this one is in perfect working condition, there's no issues with it mechanically, <clears throat> It has some 
you know, rub off of the gasket, the black top layer has rubbed off over the years or faded off. So this would not be a 10. We grade it from 1 to 10. Um, and you know, someone has written something on the back. Someone has put stickers on it. We take that off, but try to clean it off. So it wouldn't be a 10. It wouldn't be a 9. It wouldn't be maybe an 8. It would be 7, 7 and a half. But it would be 7 and 7 and a half cosmetically and 10 uh, in mechanically. And that's the type of uh, report that you get and certification on each product. And you get that on drivers, you get that on speakers. So no, 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 nothing is left behind to surprise you in a negative way. You get a good product that is certified and verified, and you get a stamp of approval and, and a letter that states it, and you get a shipping that is second to none. We are offering the best shipping method and the best packing ever, ever, ever. No one on eBay can compare to the packing and the shipping that I offer. Like, I have seen people, I have, I have a couple amps down here, in fact, that I repaired because they were repairable. But when you ship a things like this, I'm just going to take this one because it's easy for you guys to see. Some people wrap it one time in bubble wrap. And then stick it in a box and ship it off. That's how I have received it. And sometimes I have received this one without bubble wrap. Just put it in a box and taped up. And with, with a lot of space to move around in. And that's a, that's, that's a killer. So what, what I have done, when I, what I do every time, just to explain to you guys. If I, want, if I was going to ship this one to you, I would bubble wrap it three times this way. Three times that way. Cover the whole thing. I would then box it up in a box that are tight, snug in every area, sides, back and front, top and bottom, cannot move. Then I would put that box aside, I would take another box that is bigger, that has a four inch, three to four inch gap each way, and I would fill that up with foam. And I'm talking about big building foam, the ones you use, the ones that people use in commercial building. It's about two and, two and a half, two and a qu three quarters thick foam, high density foam. Not some cheap things that comes apart. That goes on the bottom, that goes on the sides, and then on top, and then whatever. I take that box, put it inside. If there's any gaps in between that foam and the inner box, I fill it up with peanuts or other packing material to make it so the box doesn't move around. Then you have about a total layer of six to, well, seven to 10 inches layers around the whole thing protected. It will never get damaged. And I use boxes that are um, approved for shipping uh, there are, in fact, a difference in boxes. Some boxes are approved for storage and packing and put away and not suited for shipping because they're thin. Um, the boxes I use, they are approved for shipping. They're thicker, they're stiffer, and the corners are more rigid. So that's how I pack vintage audio equipment. And that's how I pack my speakers. It doesn't matter what the size of the speakers are. You just have to go up in size of box and use more protection. You can always pack big speakers to arrive safely. If there's really big speakers, heavy speakers, we crate them in wood crates with protection on the inside. We offer brokerage also. If you wanna buy speakers and you see a pair of speakers online that you really, really want, but the seller is not sell sending it to your country, we will broker it for you. And we will take care of it if we can. Not, not every time is it possible, because it depends on the seller, but sometimes we talk to the seller and we explain it to him or her. And many times it will work out. So, yes, there is fees involved and fees will be uh, disclosed later on, because right now we are in a, in a starting phase. So, and if you have any questions, we will relate give you the fees and 
and, and show you how we do it. Um, there is a grading fee and there is a brokerage fee. And if we have to go somewhere, travel, let's say travel 100, 200 miles to pick up something for you, have it packed and shipped to your address overseas, yes, there will be fees involved in that. Plus, of course, the original shipping cost. When it comes to shipping, we are working with two companies who is very, very, very good and um, beside the, the normal post office. Uh, post office is perfect to use for international shippings of smaller items up to about 20 pounds. Any bigger than that, we, um, we normally use freight. Uh, when we're talking about 50, 60, 100 pounds and, and big sizes, we, we're talking about freight shipping. Uh, FedEx is not, um, FedEx and UPS and the other ones, uh, the, the carrier services, they are not uh, very comp uh, in a competition. Uh, they are overpriced and they cost a lot. So freight is the way to go. We can also offer, I'm sorry, it's getting a little warm in here. We have a winter storm outside in Memphis of all places. So I had to turn the heat up. Um, we offer also consolidated shipping. So let's say you and a couple of friends are ordering something together. I can send one shipment to one place in, this goes for Norway only. I can send it to one place in Norway and then you would be uh, responsible for getting it from that place to your place. Because I, I have a place in Norway where we can send bigger consolidated shipments too. Because then we're talking about um, containers like 10 by 10, 8 by 8, 10 by 20, that size. And that has to be gone through. I can't have people running to the container uh, dock and, and pick out stuff. So that container will be delivered to one place and everything will be taken out and divided. So then you are responsible for getting it from that place. Or you can arrange with them to have it shipped to you. And uh, that's local. But that's probably the cheapest way of doing a multi-consolidating shipment. Um, I feel that that is as much as I can do right now. Uh, like I said, we do brands like Soren Vega, JBL, Altec, Electro Voice, Snell, Tanoi, Elect uh, Wharfdale, Klipsch, everything. Most things. We do drivers of all sizes and all brands. We do complete speakers and uh, speaker accessories. So if you have any questions, please uh, make some comments below or go to our Facebook group and make some comments there. Or you can PM me directly uh, in, uh, during, uh, via Facebook and I will be glad to answer any questions that you have. Um, I think that's about it what I can do now. Uh, more information is coming. We will be making some flyers that we'll be putting online. So keep an eye out. There is there's more information coming. And we will be showcasing our warehouse when everything is done. Um, because of this, things have uh, been postponed for a few things. So we are now, every day, except for today because we have a winter storm and people are nuts out there. Uh, every day I spend time reorganizing uh, the warehouse, the building area, because this goes together with Bad Dog Speakers. So Bad Dog Speakers and the Winter Speaker Warehouse is merged. They are one and two, and uh, they will be sharing space. And uh, so that's why I'm redoing the whole thing. That's why Bad Dog Speakers right now is a little bit on hold because I'm reorganizing everything. So keep an eye out for the Winter Speaker Warehouse.